Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace Angular Materials color themes. So Angular Material Library comes with four default uh, color themes. Basically, um, the color theme is five colors, the primary color, the accent color, uh, and also three other colors, the warning color, which is red, the background, and which is white, and the text color is black. You do not have to touch the warning, background, or foreground. When you change a color theme, just change two colors. Um, you don't need 50 different shades of red to send a warning, right? Okay. Here, how do you replace the default, for example, indigo pink color theme with your own color theme? You just replace two colors. Replace indigo with something else like this color and replace pink with this color and you're done. So it's super easy. So I'm going to walk you through the process. The first, create an Angular app. Uh, when you prompt it, choose obviously SCSS, not the vanilla CSS, yeah, because you're going to use a lot of functions to extract colors. Okay, then the add a material library, ng add angular material. Once you add a material library, you will be prompted to choose a theme. There are four default themes, the predefined themes, you skip every one of them and choose custom theme. Uh, then you define your own color palettes. Uh, to define your own color palettes, you just visit this website. Visit the website. This makes your life a lot easier. And you just choose or type in the color code or choose whichever color you want. And it will create these shades of colors. So how do they create it? They change two parameters. One is the saturation by mixing the color with the gray. And the second parameter is the lightness. You change, add the black or white to that color. So the reason you want to use this color palette is that you want to use an array of the same color so your app looks professional. That's the whole idea. Uh, so here you can pick the color or type in the code and pick your default color. Uh, once you have this color palette, you can just here go to this download button. Uh, then you can choose Angular 2, Material 2, yeah, and copy this whole thing to your code. Um, this is the color you're going to use to replace your primary color. Then rinse and repeat, right? You just uh, do it again. Pick another color as your accent color, uh, like this guy uh, here. And then you can just download again and copy the other chunk of code. So it's fairly easy. Just to pick two colors, replace your uh, in place of your default color, then you're done. So I will walk you through this process. Um, so I put my custom colors in a custom style sheet so here the stuff I copied from uh, the website yeah they generated all these things don't worry about what they are and I changed their name I you change this primary color to custom primary and accent color to custom accent and of course you can still use the default color if you want to use the default uh, material color you can use the custom primary equals matte indigo custom accent equals matte pink this will give you the default indigo pink color theme yes so, so this these two files are mirror image yeah so this is the custom color uh, so after you create this style sheet with these color palettes you will just edit your style scss styles scss so this is also fairly simple you first uh import the material theming include the matte core so material theming obviously is the very important functions the, to extract color, create color palettes, all the good stuff. This include matte core, include is including mixings. You cr the styles bundled together in the material library, you can just uh, import everything. So because material library is very professional looking, professional looking and also very sleek. So you want to use this material library stuff. So this is the bundled style. This is the functions, yeah, or utilities. And then you import the st style sheet you just created with the custom colors. After that, you will create three color palettes. So using the custom primary and the custom accent. And you can, of course, change the default parameters. Like instead of using A700, you can use A something else, A like 300 or something, whatever you want to use. Uh, usually the default works, yeah. Um, then you can use create a warning color. I just use the matte red. I use the material library's color as the warning color theme. I don't want to. Be creative. You don't need 50 shades of red to send different levels of warning. I don't think so. You only need to change these two guys. Replace the matte indigo, matte pink with your own primary color you just created. Then this is optional. You can just create a, a few colors to use in your app. I picked a few colors. Um, the 
because sometimes you want to use different shades of the primary color to for different elements, right? So this is completely optional. Uh, you, I created a few shortcuts colors from those palettes. After that, you create a color theme. If you use matte light theme, you will have a uh, you know, normal app uh, like uh, the white background, bl black text. So, and then you can just include your color theme. You are done. Include include angular material color and use your custom color theme. You're done. So that's that's how you do it. Um, fairly simple, right? And then I can show the app uh, I created. Yeah. So here I use the replace the default color with my um, chosen color as the primary color and accent color. Um, import that new color to the style sheet and do all the stuff I just walked you through. And uh, how to use your uh, dark theme. Um, you just change one thing to use the dark theme. Uh, by the way, for professional apps, I wouldn't recommend that you use the dark theme. Uh, using dark theme is uh, kind of a weird for professional uh, website. So change the matte light theme to matte dark theme. And also in your index HTML file, you add this guy and on the body tag index HTML. Um, on the body tag, class equals matte app background just add matte app background so two things and you're done you can have a dark theme app so this is the dark theme uh, which i don't think it's good for professional uh professional stuff yeah it's for id like visual studio code is fine but uh yeah let's still use the light theme okay so feel free to download the code uh, from github thank you